After multiple police raids that led to the arrests of prominent activists, a debate on the relatively new term urban Naxals has begun nationwide. This coinage describes people of a certain political camp that follows the old Maoist strategy to focus on urban centers for leadership, organize masses, build a united front and engage in military tasks such as providing not only an ideological support but also personal, the benefits of a network and logistics to youth turned mercenaries. On August 28, Pune police raided the houses of five communist activists for their alleged links with the Maoists. The police have arrested five different people from across cities. Some prominent names are Arun Ferreira, P. Varavara Rao, Vernon Gonzalez, Gautam Navlakha and Sudha Bharadwaj. பயங்கரவாதிகளுக்கு துணையாக போகிறது என்பதை அவர்கள் உணர்ந்தாக வேண்டும் ராஜீவ்காந்தி கொல்லப்பட்டதனுடைய துயரம் இன்னைக்கும் எல்லாரும் சொல்லிட்டு இருக்கிறாங்க அதே போல இன்னொரு சம்பவம் நம்முடைய நாட்டில் நடக்கணுமா அதுக்கு இவங்க எல்லாம் துணையா போவாங்களா எந்த முறையில் கைப்பிடி கைது செய்ய அப்படின்னு சொன்னாங்க அந்த காவல்துறையினுடைய வேலை அது அவங்கள்ட்ட நாம் ஒப்படைக்கணும் இவங்களை கைது பண்ணுங்க அவங்கள கைது பண்ணுங்க அரசாங்கம் சொல்லலை எந்த அரசியல் கட்சியும் சொல்லலை எந்த அரசாங்கமும் சொல்லலை காவல்துறையினுடைய வேலை தவறுகள் நடக்காமல் தடுப்பது முதல் வேலை These names were added in the FIR on August 28 after a whole series of events. It began last year after the commemoration of the 200th anniversary of the Mahar victory in the Battle of Koregaon of 1818, where the troops of the East India Company held their position for 12 hours, supported by the members of the so-called lower castes, after which the Peshwa force withdrew from the front. The events of participation by leftist activists from across the country unlike in the previous years of the battles commemoration from JNU's seditious Umar Khalid to Gujarat's Jignesh Mevani delivered provocative speeches from the podium as per the FIRs Even a member of the All India Muslim Personal Law Board Maulana Abdul Azhari was invited who had nothing to do with the Dalit cause by any stretch of the imagination from the right wing Milind Igbote allegedly fished in the troubled waters inviting an FIR upon himself as well The provocative speeches led to massive destruction of public property this violence led to a few arrests and an investigation brought out some of the most hidden facts about this case According to the information assembled by Pune Police which is investigating the case a letter was written to Rona Wilson by another communist activist explaining the plans of a possible regrouping of Maoists for a possible attack Another letter which was written to Wilson by another comrade named Prakash reiterates the fact that a certain sum of money was given to Maoist groups to gather left wing extremists in the state The evidence gathered by the police suggests that urban Naxals were facilitating a heavy procurement and distribution of arms and ammunitions to wage a war against the state, supervised by, of course, Wilson and Prakash. Wilson, however, had been arrested on June 6, 2017. Sudha Bharadwaj who has been an active Maoist sympathizer wrote incriminating letters to Prakash which exposed her hatred towards the Indian army and the government My Nation had published on August 30 portions of the evidence that the police have submitted before the court This uh, trend arresting Sudha Bharadwaj is highly condemnable because Sudha Bharadwaj holds vakalat of certain marginalized people who are framed in UAPA cases, NIA cases, APSA cases and other draconian cases. She holds, she don't even charge much fee. She's a professor, she's committed for the cause of the marginalized people to silence her. She's arrested. In, in sense, they wanted to send a message, any lawyer who takes up these type of cases will be lynched. Is this the beginning of a new chapter in the history of Naxalism? Will this impact the upcoming 2019 elections?